Hi. Um, basically, um, basically, the title of this video is Are You Chasing Something? And what is that about? So, basically, from 17 years old, I've been chasing a career in psychology. Um, and I kept going with that because I had my son young and I wanted to be able to provide for him um, when I was younger. Um, we didn't have a lot of money and I, s I suppose we came from a bit of a disadvantaged background which really impacted on my self-worth and sense of security as a child and then growing into an adult as well. Um, and right now, well, I've been going to psychotherapy and I have first went to psychotherapy when I was about 20, so that's nothing new, but I'm engaged in like more process-based therapy, which I suppose is more to do with your own life experiences and why you feel a certain way and why you act in a certain way and yeah it kind of goes deeper into things and um basically in my life i'm always chasing things like with clinical psychology everything i find it hard very hard to be in the present moment and just enjoy things as they are now it's always oh when i'm qualified and I'll have this income, I'll be able to buy a house, I'll have more security, blah, 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 blah. But when I looked in a little bit deeper, I realized the reasons I'm chasing that, first of all, I think it has something to do with proving my worth, which if you know you're worthy, then you don't have to prove it. But it's also to do it, compare my pe myself to other people. It's also something that will give me security, a little bit of financial security, but when you're already comfortable financially, then why would I be chasing this? Why am I clinging so tight onto this? Um, and I suppose it might be a good idea to think if you have been chasing something relentlessly, clinging on to it for dear life, despite maybe not really enjoying your everyday night, day life or not feeling fulfilled in your everyday life. It might be worth thinking, what is the true motive there? Is it from a genuine place of this is for me? Or is it, is a lot of it to do it? Maybe it could be a mixture of both. Is a lot of it to do it? Maybe there's a fly in my, in my house. Oh my God, I hope it's not, it's annoying me. Um, it, is it coming from a genuine place of, yes, this would be good for me, this would be good for my life? Or is it to do with other people expect this of me? Or I'm comparing myself to my friends and whatever, or I want to have a certain level of income to be, to get a mortgage, by the way, a mortgage in French, basically, or a bit of French in there, means... Well, French and English combined means death engagement from my perspective. Because like more means death. Um, gauge, engage. You're engaging with death. So that's what happens when you sign up for a mortgage. You're tied into paying something for the rest of your life. And a lot of people have it in Ireland, especially. I know in the rest of Europe, more central Europe, it's more common to rent, but in Ireland they have a huge thing of like, oh my God, if you need to have a house by 30 to 35 or like, or are you building a house or like what, or are you not, you know, are you not going to do that? Um, and it's a lovely thing to own a house. I would love that, but basically me chasing this thing is actually taking away more from my life than it would add basically, because I'm a single parent 
and one person can only do so much so I feel like I'm half art I feel like I'm half arsing everything in my life right now. I'm applying for every single job that comes up. I'm constantly applying for jobs. I'm constantly thinking and worrying about, oh, when will I get on? What will I do if I don't get on? Will I go down this route? Blah, 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 blah. It's so stressful and it's not conducive to being a mom, in my opinion. Um, I'm not relaxed a lot. I can't do the basic things very well without being highly stressed, such as making healthy meals, keeping on top of the house. My house is like a lot of the time just always flipping messy, no matter how much I clean it. Um, but I suppose now that I have a little bit more time, I am on top of it and it's so nice. It's so nice to just have a tidy house, not have any major stresses thinking, oh my God, I'm gonna have to do another fucking interview tomorrow because I've done so many interviews recently and just not worrying as much. But one thing I realized is I was, okay, yeah, so I'm chasing this thing and I was also running from something as well. And I was running from my own feelings of anxiety because when I didn't have a five-year plan, I felt anxious and I didn't want that anxiety. So I planned everything. Kind of an OCD thing, is it? Um, so I planned everything. I had five-year plans. I knew exactly what happens if, if this doesn't work out, then I'm going to do this. If this doesn't work out, then I'm going to do that. What will I do now to get enough experience? Blah, 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 blah. Um, and yeah, so I was running away from that rather than looking at that anxiety and being able to stay with that anxiety and maybe try to figure out where it's coming from. And, you know, sometimes I have really strong feelings as well or feelings of being so... I won't go into it, but sometimes I have very, very strong feelings. And I try to get away from those by saying, oh, when I get this, when I achieve this in my career, like I'm not going to have those feelings or I'll feel good enough for a whole or whatever. But basically, I feel like I do this with a lot of things. And I'm sure a lot of other people do it as well. I think people are getting really detached from their emotions and from feeling uncomfortable. Um, people are getting really cut off from that because a lot of the times you don't have to feel uncomfortable because you can avo avoid that. You can doom scroll for two hours on Instagram or TikTok or you can, I don't know, whatever, whatever is your choice. I think social media is adding it to a lot. It, people have always obviously it's normal to avoid your emotions if they're kind of emotions that are a bit scary. But I think it's reached, it kind of reached a chronic level with me. Or maybe not chronic, I mean, anyone. It's no. I suppose for me and the kind of life that I want to live, I realised I was reaching out for everything externally. I'm always saying, I should do this. Oh, maybe if I go to the gym more, maybe I should apply for a personal trainer thing. Oh, I love playing the piano. So, you know what, I should do another grade and, you know, eventually I'll be able to teach. Or, geez, I really would like to make more friends or join a new hobby. So I'm always looking into these things like, what? Because I need something to focus on to take away from my feelings of just accepting how I am, accepting my feelings and accepting my life as it is. So I realized I'm gonna stop this. I, just by chance, I suppose, I had some circumstances going on in my life, I ended up in a part-time job. 
it's a job in mental health and the whole time I was searching for new jobs trying to get interviews getting interviews all this and I realized I'm gonna stop chasing stuff so yeah maybe you could think about something if you, oh god um maybe you could start thinking about whether you know is this thing you're chasing we all have to do things we don't like to get to to achieve the goals we want to achieve but i suppose if you're holding on really tight to something and yeah just think about like maybe at a deeper level what is it going to really really add to your life and maybe what is it taking away um, is it a genuine desire like something you would truly like to achieve for genuine genuine reasons um or is a lot of it to do with you know insecurities doubts feeling not worthy enough living up to your parents expectations <coughs> um and also yeah to think about are you able to live in the present moment or do you get pulled by different things or do you reach out externally a lot for things to regulate you in a way i suppose um so what i'm going to do basically i'm realizing that i'm not going to take on that job i'm not going to work full time because for me what pursuing clinical psychology would add to me to add to my life is not really that much like i mentioned those kind of superficial things it would add and i mean the sense of purpose but there are many other psychology related jobs that i could do that wouldn't be as stressful but what it is taken away is it is taken away my ability to actually care for myself like on a pretty basic level and to be a really a present parent and I, my mental health is more important than a career and me being a good mom is more important than a career and that could be black and white it's gonna like loads of moms do great working full-time going for whatever careers but for me this is just what I've figured out recently and um, just an example like the last few days I've realized I enjoy food I actually think in my head like oh my god imagine this lovely dish I could make for dinner today and then I make it and I eat it and I'm just like wow this is delicious um, that seems so basic but basically my hunger is really affected by my stress levels when I'm stressed I don't have any appetite and actually when I think of food it repulses me when I'm stressed but then I'd just be forcing myself to eat things. I wouldn't even be enjoying it. I wouldn't be, have time to actually go and make a meal that I really liked. Okay, there's, I mean, I look, I still cooked quite good dinners, but it was like a huge balancing act. And I didn't have time to put much thought into things. So it's just a basic thing. Wow, I'm feeling more hungry and actually thinking, mm, what would I like to eat? And then I make it and I'm loving it such simple things like that and maybe this all of these things i've been talking about maybe that does come up come very intuitively to some people <laughs> but it took me quite a few years to figure out um and yeah like i mentioned with always feeling oh i should do my piano i like piano so i should do my piano exams i like the gym so i should get really really good and do a personal training course or blah 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 blah, blah. even books like I should I have to finish this book I really have to finish this book and <laughs> like putting pressure on myself of things I should be doing okay so I am quitting all the things I should be doing like oh I should be yeah like just so many things um <clears throat> and I'm gonna just try to live in a moment more I'm just all those shoulds I'm gonna stop all of the shoulds in my life um and just be able to 
enjoy each day, which I have been. I'm quite an easily paced person. Like I said, I just enjoy being able to not be chronically stressed and I'm going to enjoy, you know, personal growth and I'm going to enjoy spending time with my kids, <coughs> cooking food. I love minimalism and eco living, but I don't really have a huge amount of time for that. I didn't. Um, I'm not going to put any expectations on myself at all, but I'm going to do the job that I am in now. I'm going to do that better so I can get some satisfaction from that. Um, and I'm going to stop running from how I'm feeling, and that's what I have been doing. Um, you know, if you're sad or if you have a deep feeling of loneliness or emptiness or alienation or um, existential kind of doubt or things like that, like, I used to try to fill that with, oh, I should get new purpose, I should go to this event and meet more people or whatever, or yeah, maybe just try to sit with that, that feeling instead and be curious about it and be like, well, where is it coming from and what can I truly do to help regulate myself and help myself understand more about this feeling and maybe discover how to have more confidence, self-care, self-love, learning to be with yourself, like treat yourself like a friend, that kind of thing. So, um, yeah, I'm really, really excited for this. And when I think of this, I th and when I look back on the last week, I'm like, wow, I can actually just live in the present moment. And if I'm having feelings like of anxiety come about, thinking, oh my God, like I'm not the one for chemical, I'm just gonna deal with those feelings. And I already feel so more grounded and able to be in the present moment because I'm not going to be trying to balance and juggle a hundred million stressful things. So I would like to maybe do an update at some point and see how things are going. I know there's a lot of other videos on YouTube about letting go and, um, you know, when you're trying too hard that it can actually, if you're trying too hard to achieve happiness or especially kind of mental states or things like that, or I think a few other areas, if you're trying too hard, yeah, basically it actually doesn't work and maybe like try less and see what that's, what that's about. So, um, yeah. Thanks.